everybody. I there was a couple of things I wanted to tell some of the new subscribers. Um, a few questions that they had. I've probably covered a lot of them in previous videos, but um, this I have thankfully, thanks to Bob, I have a lot more subscribers. Um, one of the questions I got several times was, how do I take a shower? I take a shower um, right outside my van. I open the back doors and I hang a tarp uh, as a shower curtain. And this pail right here, I fill up with, well, I don't fill it up with water, but I put two or three gallons in it. And this is... An Ivation immersible shower pump. You put that in the water and it has a shower head. It works great. It is charged by USB and um, I have no problem taking a shower. When it's convenient, or I want a really nice shower, I'll go to a truck stop and use the showers there. It's about $12, but boy, are they nice. They clean them, they're spotless, they give you towels and a floor mat, and, and um, I, I really like the truck stops, like Loves and um, Pilot and some of the others, and they're, they're really nice. Um, one of the other questions I got was, how do I find places to camp? I use a website called RV, no, that's not right. It's called freecampsites.net. And um, you don't have to join, but, and it's no cost, but you, it's an app that you put on your phone and you put in the location and it will spit out a bunch of places that people have been and with reviews. And um, I've been out here now for about six months and I have not paid for a campsite yet. And I don't plan on it. I will be living free uh, about um, well all year round 365 days but about one month I will be um, camped in my cousin's driveway and sorry there's a bug flying around and um, I will probably hook up to her power um, and probably use her showers because it's going to be awesome to have an actual shower. But I'll still be living in my van with my kitty. And then for the next two or three months, I'll be in the Seattle-Tacoma area and boondocking somewhere wonderful. Um, stealth camping. Um, possibly park in my brother's bar parking lot at night and then just go someplace awesome during the day, like uh, to down to the water. Um, but no, I won't be using RV parks or anything like that. I can't afford that. That's not in my budget. Um, a couple of people asked about mail. Um, I have a friend in Seattle who has, does all my mail for me. Her address is my address and she takes care of all my mail. Um, I don't get a lot of mail because I put everything on um, uh, pa paperless so I don't get bills in the mail very much and if I do she texts me and tells me what it is and how much I owe and and it works out great for me um, if you don't have a friend that you can do that with there are mail services all over the place just google it and um, they do the same thing and it's very minimal price like anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars a month um, when i want to get a package on the road if it's going to be mailed to by the u.s postal service i can um, have it mailed to a local post office general delivery 
and that's real easy but when you order things off uh, Amazon you don't know how they're gonna mail it sometimes they use USPS sometimes they use UPS sometimes they use FedEx so you have to find a place near you that will accept packages on your behalf they're everywhere all you have to do is Google um, places to pick up FedEx in the town you're in and try to stick to the the small mom and pop businesses because they're cheaper if you use an actual ups store or fedex store it's going to be about ten dollars per package um uh, usually when you use one of the mom and pop places it's anywhere from a dollar to two dollars or a little more if it's a big package um somebody asked about uh prescriptions I have my prescriptions at Walmart because they're everywhere. They're all over the country, and all I have to do is take my prescription bottles into any Walmart, and they refill them there. Um, or if you had another um, nationwide pharmacy, you could do the same thing. I like Walmart, even though they are a little more expensive than what I was used to. Um, but it's handy. Um, somebody asked if I thought that this was a lifestyle for someone with chronic illness. And I would say it totally depends on what your illness is. I personally do not have good health. I've got several autoimmune diseases and a couple major other types of diseases um, all of mine are invisible but they're there but I can walk so I can climb in and out of my van with no problem now if you're somebody in a wheelchair obviously this van wouldn't work for you so it all depends on your own personal circumstance um, safety I am most of you know I am a retired police officer. I do carry a gun. I'm not worried about my safety. I have had incidents. I um, probably remember or have seen this. I got this at Home Depot for $12. It's a security light and it is solar powered. So it comes on when it gets dark and it's a very faint light when there's no motion. And when there is motion, it's a bright flood light. And I have one on the back of my van as well. And um, I need to get another one for my driver's side, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, right here. Oh, and there's my stickers, Caravan Carolyn. Um, so I, I have had incidents. I've had um, twice I've had prowlers. And when I was in Seattle before I hit the road, I was there stealth camping for about five weeks because my son was coming home from the army for Christmas and I had to be there. So I didn't leave until after I'd been in my van for about five weeks. And I stayed in Walmart parking lots and I felt very safe there, just like if you were going shopping. So those are some of the things people asked. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Have a good day.